Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux, and it has been a while, friends. And I apologize, but the truth of the matter is, it has been a it's been a very busy month of December and January. So I wanted to offer my thanks once again for those of you who have been sticking around with me uh, over the last couple months and watching the videos, uh, new subscribers, and so on. It is a uh, absolute pleasure and thank you very much. So let's dispense with that and let's go directly to what I want to accomplish today. And that is I want to install Linux Mint Debian Edition and we're going to do this with ButterFS so that we can use Time Shift. So this is a little Debian adjacent. Uh, I've had several people offline as well as at least one or two of the commenters uh, on my channel that have asked specifically for uh, this particular video where you're using ButterFS for LMDE6. So I'm going to go over here and click on download and I am going to now notice that this is a fairly big file and it is currently downloading so I will talk just a few minutes uh, while this is doing it and then I'm going to pause it while to let this finish downloading. Um, I went ahead and actually installed this on my laptop, which is our community laptop downstairs at the at the uh, kitchen table. And I use it, but my wife also used it. So this is a really good alternative. Uh, granted, I am typically using uh, stock Debian all the time. And I, as you most of you know, uh, I use BSPWM as my daily. Um, but as far as beginner type um, distro, this is fantastic. I don't understand a couple things about Linux Mint. Let me just get on my soapbox for just a sec. Um, as you know, most of you at least, it is built using Ubuntu. And, you know, it comes in all kinds of flavors like their flagship Cinnamon Edition, Mate and XFCE. But if you ask me, why not just use Debian as their starting point? I, I think that they would be a more viable mainline or mainstream distribution if they did away with Ubuntu and just focus on LMDE. I think that would be a really smart move. And you granted, I'm a you know, I'm a Debian fanboy, so it, it makes total sense to me. I don't know if it makes total sense to everybody, but Whatever. I, I, this is what I think they should do. Okay, now that the download is complete, I'm going to go to the downloads directory and uh, put it on. Let me make sure that I'm on the right. So SDB. I'm going to be on SDB. All right. Uh, sudo ddif equals and then uh, lmde and then the of equals dev sdb status equals progress and O uh, so BS equals 16 M and O flag equals sync and then there we go all right I'll pause this and let this finish okay so I am about to um, boot into the system. Um, it just says start LMDE6. Now I'm actually installing this um, on metal, uh, not in a virtual environment. So we're gonna we're gonna start from from scratch, like on and put this on an actual PC. All right, so this is what it looks like, and we're just gonna double click on install Linux Mint. I might have to pause every once in a while if it takes. Uh, too long to get through uh, a couple things, but where I will slow down is in the partitioning. So let's go here and English US and I'm in the eastern part of the US, so that's good and next. All right, and we're going to put this as LNDE6 and sure. And let's say next. And here's where we have to stop. 
Okay, so I messed up um, on my recording, which is annoying, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into manual partitioning and we're really going to change some things. So uh, I'm gonna go into launch gparted and we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna delete these two and we're gonna say okay and apply. Now, just in case you need to do this, you may not need to do this, but let's just add a new partition and we're gonna make this let's say 500 megabytes and we're going to use fat 32 for this and say add okay now we're going to go down and say new and we're going to use the butterfs file system and say add and now there's not going to be a there's not going to be a swap and we're going to just apply those changes and close now let's go ahead and right click this and let's manage flags on this top one and this is going to be our uh, ESP. So we're going to say boot and notice it automatically checked ESP or EFI system partition and we're going to close that. And I think that's all we need for now. So let's go ahead and close this all right and let's refresh and there you go now let's make sure that our mount part point is correct on this so we're going to edit and we're going to mount to root and format as butterfs and hit ok now that should be all that's necessary so now all we need to do is hit next i i this is not this is annoying that i did it this way but we're going to just rock with that and then we're going to choose the install grub menu on SDA1 and set next. And now we're going to install. So if, uh, if that was confusing, I apologize. That, this was really the whole reason for this video. So now I'm, I'm super annoyed. But uh, it, this might get you through, um, if, if necessary, uh, to use time shift uh, when you're using Linux Mint Debian Edition. So I'm going to pause for now and I'll pick you up when we're done uh, installing. All right, we are done. So I'm going to um, restart the computer. Go ahead and pull out the media and hit uh, enter. There we go. And so select LNDE six. Here we go. Now the cool thing about LMDE uh, is that it's going to give you a, um, oh, here we go, let me get my password in there. It's going to give you a nice welcome and you'll be able to set up your ButterFS right from the start. So it's when I click on uh, let's go and then first steps. So you can do colors, but I'm just going to skip down here to the launch system snapshots and authenticate. Now we have ButterFS, so I'm gonna hit next. All right, and it's already set up for you, S, uh, SDA2, and we're gonna say next. And we're gonna do daily, that's fine, but you can do it anytime you want, including boot, which is nice. And then we're gonna say next, and I would include home subvolumes, and next, and finish. Okay, and now you can go ahead and create uh, your first snapshot and you can say, you know, you can comment if you want and say uh, first uh, after initial install and there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, this, you know, I'm not going to show you how to use uh, Linux Mint. Uh, I think that would be beyond the scope of this. But, you know, it's a really nice, like I said before, it is a, a very good starting um, distro for those of you who might be transitioning, or if you're even if you're not, it's really clean. So as far as desktop colors, you know, it's kind of cool that you can uh, launch, there we go, and say dark, and then click on that. Oops, I opened it twice. And there you go. So anyway, um, 
I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. And um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and talk to you soon.